Good evening, people. So, good evening, people online. Okay, so we'll go to the optional demo. And uh, so, I'll tell you, like, uh, so <clears throat> first of all, we um, see what exactly the syllabus and uh, we'll clear some of the basic doubts you have with respect to laws are optional. Mm, fine. So, So first of all, like uh, so, law optional first thing first, like no. So lawyers know that that is a maxim. Maxim means it's a kind of a, a legal maxim, Latin term saying that ignorantia juris non excusa. Okay, ignorance of law is not an excuse. What you, meaning what? Like no, you can't say that like I don't know law. Law is something which is part and parcel of your life, right? So even you can't say like I don't know law. So you're going riding a motorbike, all right, with a helmet. Uh, and you're getting caught, you can't say that like, no, I don't know the law is about um, not wearing helmet will be amounting to fine or else you kind of uh, murder someone and you can't say that like, no, murdering someone is an offense. All right. So first things first, like, no, so law is part and parcel of your life. So ignorance of his law is not excused by the court as such. Okay. So now <clears throat> basically what law means. Okay. So, so law is, as I said, like, no, so it is one of the things, very basic things. So, whatever the law which is passed by the government, okay, you are lawyer or not, you have to kind of follow that. Now, with respect to law optional, okay, so the first, I am going to kind of burst out certain myths, okay. So, is law is having a low success rate? <laughs> because, like, you, know, you choose the subject based on success rate, right? The first question students ask me, sir, how much, how many people have succeeded by taking law as an optional? This is the first parameter, like, whenever you choose an optional, they take it, right? So, what about the success rate of law, you think? See, this is the data of uh, UPSC. So, UPSC, every year they used to give a kind of an annual report. You see, based on that annual report from all these years, all right, if you see that, in all these years, law will be in the top 10. Okay, you, you have a kind of success rate, okay. So, among the, among the non-literature subjects, among the non-literature subjects, you can find law always in the list law, medical science and all, every time, apart from the literature, literature, like you see, literature of Santali language, like it's written by only, say, uh, two people or four people, but whereas in the case of law, so 245 people appeared and finally, so 44 students kind of like cleared, okay, so that shows, that shows law is always there in the top 10, okay, apart from so-called like uh, the, the, the famous subjects or the kind of like subjects which is uh what taken by most of the people so law is always in the top 10 okay so among the subjects opted by more than 100 candidates generally you see that like no it is in the top three so more number of candidates if you take like no apart from this literature so law is always in the top three fine so law has a better success rate now second one <clears throat> so only law graduates can study how many of you non law graduates here mm, so you people are from which graduate Become management B. This is the other way. Yeah, fine. Now, so you have your law option. Sorry, I mean, like law or love. Okay, fine. Now, in this case, also only law graduates can study. So, this is also myth. It's a one once it comes to UPSC, you know, people taking their graduate certificate is very less. Is it now? Meaning, like, majority of the people, like, you no, know, take either geography, sociology, history, PubBat, political science, anthropology, uh, psychology. Is it not? Fine. So, but most of the people appearing today are engineers. And how many engineers take engineering as an option? Very rare, very less. All right. So, this is what? So, you know, this is one subject. You know, medical science and law is one subject where lawyers and med medicine, of course, like medicine is only doctors. Like non-doctors non cannot do that because I'll give you the point. And of course, studying medicine subject is very difficult. But in the case of law, people say they have a career, like they used to kind of take it even after preparing. Well, preparation of UPSC, a lot many people like, you know, after studying quality, they used to kind of, you know, choose laws and alternate career roles. I've seen so many people, even some of our faculties also have done it. So many people, so many of my friends, so many people, they have kind of done. Even officers who used to take law, retired officers also used to study law. All right. So law is not something that it can be kind of like very uh, difficult to study. You put an effort, you can easily kind of study graduation also here also. So what with respect to UPC, how the non-law graduates can have fair means. 
So if you see the trend and all, okay, uh, I don't have the data for this year and the last year. Last year was uh, not many people have uh, cleared. Okay, now last year lot, not many people have cleared, non lawyers have cleared. But generally speaking, like no, so so many times, so many times people have got even the top rank also. This is their graduation and this is the rank they've got it. Okay, so they have nothing to do with the law, but they have scored among the top ranks. Even they have scored high marks also. Sometimes non-law graduates have scored more than law graduates, national law students. This has happened. All right. So the second myth is only law graduates can study law option. It is not so. Even non-law graduates also can do that. Uh, for instance, this um, you know Neha Jain. You know she scored more than three to two eighteen law, much more than the topper of law that year. All right, fine. Topper of law means like sorry, not the one who got uh, top rank more than her. She also had a law option, but she got a uh, good higher marks. Fine. Next one is uh, syllabus is very vast. That is one of the problem. Like you no, know, looking at the syllabus, they decide it's very vast and all. Yes, it's it's vast. Yes, it's vast. But nothing wrong in that. Uh, why I say that? Because so the syllabus seems to be lengthy, but it is well defined. What does it mean? Well defined means this is the limit in which you have to study, and they will ask questions from that limit only. So the boundaries are well defined. The topics are well defined. So out of that boundaries or topic, they are not going to ask questions. Fine, and it can be. So I don't say short period of time, relatively short period of time, which you believe. Like okay, it will take one year to say two years to say not like that. It will be can be done in say five to six months. So you see that like no almost like so the syllabus is more or less like what people study in their. Graduation, it is it is less than twenty percentage of what they studied in your graduation. Law graduates know that. Like so, you see, so this is the um, course in this is the LLB course in uh, University of Delhi DO, and you see that not every subject is part of UPC optional. Okay, not every subject, even a law graduate, not every subject you studied in law is not part of it. Actually, fine. So only few things. For instance, law of torts, contracts, criminal law, administrative law, constitutional law, international law. That's it. Not much. All right. Fine. So this is something you have to keep in mind. So as far as the syllabus of the law is also, when you compare like the popular subjects like uh, geography, history, bad um, sociology, and other subjects and all, now you have to study at the level of masters. You have to study the level of masters, but here in the case of law, it's enough what you study at the bachelor's level. So for engineering, medical science, and law, so the level corresponds to the bachelor's. For that, other than bachelor's, a lower than master's degree equivalent to that of honors degree. All right, for other subjects, it's not exactly masters, less less than masters. Meaning what? This is what exactly given in the UPC notification. Apo law, whatever you you study for the graduate, that will be fine. Okay, so it's not so many subjects as one presumes fine. Now, so I should study a lot of textbooks, big books like. So when you go to office, a chamber of like lawyer, this is what you find it. You no know? big big books. Our very lawyer pa, very very books alone chill there. They used to say that. So should you need to study so many textbooks? Now oh, lawyers tell me what are these big books called as? They call as reporters, all India reporter or reporters, right? They are journals only for reference. They don't study as such. It's only for reference. Now, as a law professional, you are not expected to study all these textbooks and all. It's not at all referred. So you have to keep your book source limited. So with respect to study materials, there are limited number of books. Standard textbooks are there, and of course there is something called dukis. What is the meaning of dukhi? Dukhi means guide. All right. So people used to kind of refer to the guide to clear the examinations. So people have cleared with dukhi also just by reading to dukhi also guide also. Okay. So that is also possibility, people. And uh, there are no shortage of materials also. The next one is like no. So you have to find. You have to go and get the materials. It is very difficult because this is one of the parameters where you have choose the optional, right? And the materials are required, yes, sir. So this is there is no such kind of dearth of materials because like standard textbooks are available in the market. Materials are available in the market, and you can definitely learn from newspapers. Okay, newspapers are 
are kind of always filled with law related materials and all, all right and the next one sir questions are very dynamic like i have to keep on frequently updating law is evolving so i have to keep on updating it's not like that there is a very little element of surprise or in fact like no element of surprise what is the meaning of very little or no element of surprise means you can predict almost 80 percentage of the questions for sure pakka i'm not saying me you can you yourself can predict okay this is 80 percent of the questions and the rest 20 percent of the questions depends on the current affairs so it might go 90 so the deviation may go so you can predict more than 80 percentage of what is going to be asked so there is no element of surprise and it's, it's it's very a kind of static one only all right but there are certain current affairs where you have to follow on see <clears throat> for instance this is one problem they have it sir difficult questions i need to so lawyers used to say that like you know, they have to learn a lot of latin terms even i started with the latin term no ignorantia juris non exquisite all right should i need to learn all these words yes you have to buy hard no matter whichever subject you take it you, you have to buy hard certain philosophers you have to buy hard certain concepts is it not every subject has its own set of like things which you have to buy hard so law also has it but not many maxims at the maximum some 15 to 20 okay 15 to 20 only not more than that as such fine but without maxims also you can manage okay so but it's not so difficult all right and with respect to the most of the questions most of the questions always keep in mind that most of the questions are settled, solved position. Whatever you studied three years back, four years back, like the same position today and only. Keshanandabadi is Keshanandabadi even today. Like there is not much of a change. What is the basic structure is added? So similarly, not much of a change only in certain areas. So that is something called as contemporary legal developments. In the contemporary legal developments only, like IPR. Have you come across this word IPR? Intellectual property rights, copyright, patent, trademark. Okay, these areas are evolving. So these areas are the way, like where you have to kind of keep on updating. All right, this is the area. I said that 20 percent. I said no, you have to predict based on the current affairs. This is one area. And similarly, with respect to issues like whether death penalty should be there or not, this is a is an evergreen question as such. Death penalty should be given or not. So this is a sociological aspect also. So what is the aspects like uh, the theories of punishment? Okay, these things only you need to know the current update. Whether uh, presently is there any report submitted by law commission? Or what is the recent judgment related to that? You have to correlate the recent instances. And then you have to kind of argue the case in the examination. This is what. Argue the case in the sense. Like you have to write it accordingly. They'll ask. Apart from that, mostly it is a settled position. No confusions, nothing. Next, uh, when I ask you about the advantage of law choosing and laws and option. Like I'll speak about the advantages also. Disadvantages also. Advantages means I can say that you can read law through newspapers every single day at least a minimum of 30 percent is related to law directly or indirectly definitely and law here includes constitution i mean that is also majorly it is about that and apart from that there will be now can there be a country without any crime happening definitely it will be there okay so definitely there will be keywords about criminal law or international law or constitutional law definitely 30 percentage it will be there so you can learn by going through the newspapers you can revise by going through the newspapers all right so newspapers will make you revise this is so far so you know about right to privacy right so right to privacy which case it was anyone no hmm? which case what is the case for name Puttaswami's case. So when Puttaswami judgment came, right to privacy, every single newspaper carried out in the front page about right to privacy. So even if, if you are a news reader, you cannot skip this. So all important judgments, all important 
you know, uh, recent issues. Like, for instance, recently, Maharashtra crisis happened. It is related to what? Maharashtra crisis is related to anti-defection. So you could have learned anti-defection here very easily. Got it? Recently, elections, rise of elections happened. Now, present election is going to happen. So this will be very helpful in the, from the polity perspective. From law perspective, nothing much. Law perspective, nothing much. Like they won't ask. But uh, people from Tamil Nadu, they might know about Pere Rival in the issue. Now, these people from Tamil Nadu, they enter India right now because Supreme Court has like used one article. Anyone knows that? 142, article 142 to do complete justice. We are releasing. You are taking too much of a time to kind of, uh, you know, give him the punishment, right? Uh, so now the entire country, so entire country carried out that page in the first. So when we discuss about the Supreme Court powers, definitely 142 comes to your mind. Pardoning power comes to your mind. That is what. And that is what they are going to ask this year. Got it? So newspapers will make a device. If you study newspaper thoroughly, so it will be very useful to you. Okay, next one. Next advantage, it is, has a correlation with other subjects. It is basically multidisciplinary. It has, you know, components from society, components from economy, components from, you know, uh, geography. Every dimension, it has it. Like So you can kind of, for instance, when you study about, like, you know, um, international law. International law has elements of international relations. When you study about like UNCLOS, it has elements of geography. Is it not? So every subject which we ought to study, which has a limit on, like when we study about IPR or when you study about like you no know, WTO, again related to economy. So it has all the overlapping that will be also very helpful to you. All right, people, it will be helpful in other subjects also. When you write GS also. And same, it will be helpful for your optional also, even essay also. All right. So whatever you study, no, it has an overlapping, not just in GS paper two, not just in GS paper two. GS paper two, like I can say that questions in prelims, you know, it's, it's very important. Um, so not very important in the sense, like no, it has a kind of a very high weightage. This is quality weightage in prelims. So every every year used to get an average around fifteen. This year it was ten. Last year it was like uh, 16 and that too previously it was kind of changing, okay. So sometimes it is as low as 7, as high as 22 and all. But generally speaking, some 15 questions is asked uh, on average on polity. So you can kind of easily score in polity and get in through. And similarly, mains also. Mains, polity and governance, you see that like at least 36 percentage to 50 percentage of 250 marks. From 100 to 100 marks to uh, 125 marks, they used to get it. So you can leverage, okay, whatever you study in the GS, sorry, in the optional, it will help you scoring the GS. Not just in paper one, sorry, paper two, uh, paper three also a bit, and also even in ethics also, even in essay also. That definitely it will be helpful. Fine. So, and definitely it will it will be helpful in an interview. You know, one of the reasons why, one of the reasons why people used to kind of like, uh, law has a better success rate because the people, the lawyers are able to get good marks or the law option students are able to get good marks because like they use the reasoning knowledge which they learn from their law. All right. Why I say this one, I'll come to help because the biggest disadvantage of choosing law, I can say, you don't score more than 300, very rare occasions. People never used to score more than 300. Very rare, rare occasions only. That is the only thing. People, even the top rankers, like who got that more than um, in the top 10 also, they never scored so, 280, 290. Exceptionally, they have scored more 312 and all. But the point is that people, even though they scored less than 300 in law optional, but they are able to leverage the, whatever they are studying through GS. They got good marks in GS paper too. Ethics, essay and all. Got it? In the marida, that is the reason why. If Allah ma sir, how come someone who is scoring less marks, less than 300, how come they are able to get in the top 10? And how come you say that like, no, law has a better success rate? This is the reason why. Because this is something like, if at all you say, sir, I want to score 300, please don't take law. I cannot guarantee you. Even no one can guarantee. Alright, 
even if you bet the bet of best of the effort based on that year's evaluation and everything there is a chances but it is very least that is the only thing but you can leverage that in the other papers definitely that will be helpful in gs paper 2 essays and all fine last year also it is see uh, when the last 10 years there are three occasions where law was screwed i guess one was in 2000 one was in 2012 or 13 and one was during 2017 i guess one was last year so every optional you know it used to be uh, taken a beating at least once somewhere like two years once three years once but also law has also kind of had its uh, bad day all right i have to agree to that also because not every time so there was one time of period like wherein you no know, literature was at the high one time where history was so good geography was so good like so everything has a kind of season only so nothing is kind of guaranteed like you will get like good marks every time all right people that is so that is something like i have to say that all right so if you want to score like now so i have to show off like this is a score and all it's not possible people so it's very unlikely i have to say this this is the biggest disadvantage all right all right, all right. So i can say this is the only disadvantage and all with respect to law optional and uh, so the one of the biggest advantage i think is that you can learn law by dissemination of knowledge see you cannot uh, discuss geography with anyone anyone means with the common man maybe you can say some things about clouds and other things maybe if you go too technical that's not possible geography or maybe history people might like it but unlike the subjects like law where you can discuss anything related to law with anyone people will be interested so you can discuss with your friends also with your family also so that you can get clarity how do you become a master in a subject only when you are able to kind of you know explain it to a persons who don't know it's a common man right now you can explain these to common man tell them like what is like criminal like what is theft uh, what is like murder this is what murder this is not murder this is culpable homicide this is what this is the best thing about law law can be learned by dissemination of knowledge by 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 explaining to others got it people this is what so you can be benefited the the person who is listening also can be benefited and uh, so this is a very important question people used to ask like whether i can clear the examination without taking coaching yes of course you know uh, so there are people there are people like who, who have did it like lawyers who have did that and non lawyers they need a guidance so it's up to you either you take a coaching for the the class or at least for the test series if not like you can get a guidance if you, if you have confidence you no know, anything is possible people it's up to you if you are lawyers you have studied the graduation very well you think that like you need guidance only test level it is also fine or else you need to learn also it will be fine so definitely so this is what i can say you can definitely clear without taking coaching also fine all right people now so we'll go to the syllabus in between so law basically has you know again like every optional uh, it has two papers paper 1 paper 2 paper 1 has two major subjects okay one is constitutional law and the second one is international law what is there in the constitutional law you are going to learn with okay so first of all constitution constitutionalism that is the distinctive features of constitution you got to learn about federalism you got to learn about secularism you got to learn about parliamentary form of democracy the salient features which you will be studying that in gs and the word constitutionalism you see questions based on constitutionalism it was asked in it was asked in the upsc prelims also constitutionalism means limited government a, a constitution which limits the powers of the government also to an extent okay so these sort of questions were asked in prelims also so this is about the first topic and second is about fundamental rights so fundamental rights like you know you will be studying one of the very important chapters in polity part 3 so pil everyone should know about like pa right public interest litigation persons from tamil nadu traffic ram sam or else like there are so many movies made from that no? that movie money then or jolly llb it was in hindi so pal legal aid free legal aid meaning what like what are the provisions 13 and a if you are unable to afford a lawyer the state will provide you a lawyer so that is called as free legal aid those things legal service authority 
all right this is one of the most important topic in fact like most of the question in paper one comes from fundamental rights just only one topic but so many things and all okay similarly relationship between fundamental rights directive principles fundamental duties again what you study this these all these things you see everything you will study in polity gs every one of these things you will study about president governor court excuse me central state relations local bodies excuse me central state legislative relations administrative relations it's about like uh, finance and property that is about like eminent domain uh, legislative powers everything every one of these things okay so till this 12th topic number 1 2 uh, sorry 11 everything will be studying in gs but don't think that like if you study gs you can clear polity sorry optional or else don't think otherwise also if you kind of study this one no need to kind of know so you have to have a different approach see if you study these things it will be easy in the polity yes definitely but for gs mains no you have to have a different approach i'll tell you like what is a different approach it's not that like no if you study okay you can skip gs no it's not like that or else if you study for gs you can skip here no it's not like that you have to have a different strategy for writing it so that is something you have to keep in mind and uh, so you know what is eminent domain people so there are certain concepts like eminent domain eminent domain means what so state taking your property state taking your property land acquisition so a highway need to be laid down like no so they want to kind of take the property it's called as what eminent domain so the the property if the state wants to take for a public purpose they can take it by giving a fair compensation other the concept so there is concepts like this one so we can kind of easily study all right fine now from 12 to 16 that is basically called as what administrative law that is called as what administrative law very limited syllabus very limited portions you can easily kind of go through all right so principles of natural justice now this is also you'll be learning in that in, in kind of polity also natural justice principle natural pere parga natural justice abdina so if you have a problem no say or for instance like no these two people are coming with a problem to me i should listen to you people <clears throat> I, I should i should listen to both of you people and then make a decision right if i listen to you alone and then make a decision is it right uh, that is basically one of the principles of natural justice hmm? everyone should be heard okay or no one should be condemned unheard so that is something like no principles like this one and also like uh, we'll discuss that national justice principle in article 21 also in, as a part of gs this is also part of gs so what is the meaning of delegated legislation delegation hmm. okay normally like no i have uh, and normally, I, uh, the legislature has the power to make a law. So, they are delegating that power to executive. And the power is paid. And delegated legislation. So, in that delegated legislation, so uh, what exactly? So, if at all, like I have given certain power to you, you, you have made such law beyond the power which is given to you. See, I am so busy. Member of parliaments are so busy. They can't discuss each of these law elements. So, what we they do that? I will give you this example, de Delegated Legislation, Environmental Protection Act, EPA, we have made the law, but we have to make specific rules related to water pollution, air pollution or related to kind of any such things related to say uh, coastal zones or uh, zones related to say maybe e-waste rules and all. So what I can do is that I will give that power to the AAS officers, that is to secretaries, that is to the executive. But you have misused that power. You have misused that power. So how to prevent that misuse? That is what we are going to discuss. Delegated legislation and its constitutionality. And similarly, separation of powers. Again, one more important concept. This will be discussing in polity itself. What is the meaning of separation of powers? Hmm. Separation of powers among the different organs of government, legislature, executive and judiciary. And similarly, judicial review of administrative action. So, if an administrative have made a decision, how it can be reviewed by the judiciary? What are the things which can be reviewed by it? And last is ombudsman, that is Lokayukta, Lokpal. It's a very small, simple topic. Now, what is the meaning of Lokpal? Have you come across Lokpal? Lokpal at the central level, Lokayukta at the state level. 
लोकपाल लोक आयुक्त ओके सो इट्स बेसिकली लोकपाल इज अ बॉडी ओके सो विच विल हैंडल केसेस रिलेटेड टू करप्शन ऑफ हायर अथॉरिटीज दे वोट इन्वेस्टिगेट दे वोट इन्वेस्टिगेट एंड ऑल सो दर इज इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग मैकेनिजम्स बट दे विल काइंड ऑफ गिव द सैंक्शन अप्रूवल एंड ऑल सो इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी सिंपल एंड ऑल इट सो एवरी थिंग इज सिंपल प्रोवाइड वी स्टडी दैट इज दिस इज अबाउट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो मोस्टली मोस्ट ऑफ द जी एस यूल बी काइंड ऑफ स्टडिंग दैट इन द So this part, constitution part, no, as well as administrative law, we'll be studying that in uh, GS. Okay, international law. The other half is international law. So with respect to international law, what you'll learn? You tell me, non-lawyers, like now, what are the things you you know about it? See, this is the only part in international law which has theoretical, theoretical more. You can say like theory related to. Philosophers, some part. Apart from that, rest of it, it is very straightforward only. This is the uh, this is the part where you have some philosophical thing and all. But rest of it, what is international law? What is municipal law? The relationship between them. So we'll study about international law like Paris Agreement, Vienna Convention. Okay, so how what exactly the relationship between them? If we sign Paris Agreement, how India is binding on Paris? Paris Agreement. What is Paris Agreement? No, Paris Agreement on climate change. So, what are the kind of obligations India has? It. What if India doesn't follow that Paris Agreement? So, these things we have to see. Got it? Right. And uh, state recognition, state succession. This is among the topics one of the trickiest topic. State recognition, state succession means if a country is divided, British India divided into India and Pakistan. So, who took the property? who took the liability that is called as succession succession of naturally like you say that like no succession from your father who inherited the property similarly so from british india which are the properties went to pakistan which are the properties went to india how now from pakistan came bangladesh so how that will kind of come that is called as what state succession private property or it will go public property where it will go all these things and all and state recognition state recognition means what Palestine is Palestine state or not? Now, say for instance, like no, uh, uh, some some part of the country like it breaks away and says that we are an independent country. Will it become an independent country automatically? There are certain parameters, right? Uh, those things will be kind of discussed later. And state recognition, like no, so there is something called as recognition of government, meaning what? Taliban took control of Afghanistan. Taliban. to control whether the nations or the states countries have recognized them or not these are the questions these are the case studies will be there see everything will have an example not an issue everything will have an example from the examples from the current happenings we can kind of discuss okay law of the seas one of the kind of again it seems to be biggest but it is kind of uh, kind of biggest but it's not so big as it seems to be uh inland waters na in territorial seas contiguous zone continental shelf uh, is at the high seas all these things and all very interesting topic you have map this is the map part we'll draw some good diagrams and then like no we can kind of learn very easy very interesting also and um you have lot of case laws here case studies here now uh, in that like you'll be studying that in international relations also uh, for instance like uh, there are uh, very good concepts like uh, hot pursuit so we'll be studying that like no so assume that like no you are in a you are traveling in say uh, indian ocean hmm? you are traveling in indian ocean so some mishap happens in that ship assume that like no you are taking this cordelia cruise right now it is so famous here in uh, southern part of india right so you are taking a cordelia cruise and then like no you are going to say um, sri lanka or so while going to sri lanka like you are going to the what is known as high seas high seas means more than 200 nautical miles so you are away from the shore not to nautical miles well that what happens uh, one person stabs another say one uh, a person from england who came here uh, he stabbed uh, uh, you can say sri lankan so which court can try the case whether it is sri lankan court or it is the you know um, uk court or it is the court that is like maybe the the ship belongs to india or the indian courts 
so who has that right so similarly there will be so many such case laws we'll be discussing that see continental shelf i said this has a this has an element of geography all continental shelf and all because you'll be studying whatever you studied in geography that is that is what i said no multidisciplinary so you'll be studying that some elements in geography also and next about individuals nationality nationality means citizenship okay can you have two citizenship so which are the countries which has it like what will happen to them so all these things and all so it can be done so statelessness what is the meaning of statelessness best example rohingyas you are thrown out of the country saying that you don't belong to this country you are not given citizenship in that case what will happen to you it happened in uh, in in 1950s and 60s too the indian tamils who settled in sri lanka so what will happen to them similarly presently it is happening in rohingyas then in myanmar rohingyas are the bangladeshi origin muslim people who settled in myanmar uh, almost for more than a century all right so that is what so all these things human rights very important topic human rights procedures available for enforcement you'll be discussing about udhr all these international principles we'll be discussing about extradition asylum extradition you know extradition what is the meaning of extradition vimal tanni put strong extradition vijay mallaya extradition we want to bring ah very good we want to bring vijay mallaya to we want to bring vijay mallaya to india now let's so he has done some mistake right? that is what asylum asylum means you are seeking protection julian assange you are seeking protection means it's asylum so all these things we'll discuss that okay so treaties what is the meaning of international treaty agreement and a normal water report treaties you know formation application termination reservations like if uh, a treaty be signed when how who how the treaty can be signed uh, paris agreement how it can be signed uh, in this water treaty so what is the kind of like uh, how it can be terminated how reservations means i don't like a specific provision of a treaty what will happen all these things united nations principal organs powers whatever you study in international organizations gs the same thing only peaceful settlement of disputes what is what is the role of icj international court of justice arbitration or principle mediation the principle all right mediation like no uh, anyone have you followed this uh, what happened in sri lanka when when ltt was there ltt and sri lankan government was mediated by one country anyone knows anyone knows ltt and the sri lankan government were mediated by one country no no india went in before but so it was norway all right so that depends on it like no so i mean the cases are all like that depends on which one to choose mediation arbitration or conciliation or so south china sea dispute south china sea dispute between china and uh, uh, you know uh, vietnam philippines all these countries they had problems so how it was settled all these things and lawful recourse to force sometimes you can use force also america has used force in afghanistan is it not so india is also like whenever someone is attacking like no it's not that every time we have to kind of go for a peaceful method only if you attack me like no to protect me self defense i'll attack no that element only when you can kind of do self defense all these things again we go to and that is what self defense intervention aggression when you can intervene india has intervened in not no no not no that is not intervention mm. that is not that is on the request of the government and as a kind of best example pakistan bangladesh when 1971 no bangladesh liberation war ha uh, we have intervened that is an intervention and similarly intervention happened like mostly today intervention is done by us russia these two people only all right so we'll have examples so what is what exactly where exactly russian uh you know thing with respect to ukraine is it a kind of invasion it is a war or it is an aggression how do you think so we'll discuss that in the class all right fine and international humanitarian laws human rights where humanitarian where humanitarian law and therima hmm ah uh, with respect not war crimes so anything led to war okay so you, there is a kind of saying that like no, not saying like there is a kind of rule that so during the war like no even if the person is wounded you get caught him alive you should not kill him this is the war this is the war time law as such like now we'll be studying about geneva conventions how these things and all it came all these things so there is something called liber code 
we'll discuss that and uh, 12th is legality of the use of nuclear weapons okay so whether nuclear weapons can be used npt comprehensive test ban treaty again it's a very small topic very very small topic it's very easy again international terrorism so this you'll be studying that in internal security also and uh, we'll study here what is state sponsored terrorism pakistan's state sponsored terrorism how do they kind of sponsor jaish e mohammed lakshya rashkari taiba all right hijacking what is the meaning of hijacking which thing hijacking ah yes this movie hijacking yeah hmm. now best like more than beast like no uh, i still think that there is a movie called payanam uh, payanam movie there so nagarjuna's movie that was there in, in telugu hindi and new tamil also like that is hijacking hijacking a flight it's happened in 1990 in kandahar and all so what is hijacking and icc what is the role of international criminal court what is the role of icj all these things we will be discussing and in new international economic order i said no economic aspect wto trips gate it's all factual idellame factual da adella konju concepts illa nare so among them there are so many concepts here and all very factual very simple these and all like not much no many case laws nothing much especially this part this part and all it's very kind of factual protection and improvement of environment so environment will be studied in constitution also paper 1 also paper 2 also fine this is what this is what we'll be learning hmm. the last one sorry this is paper 1 this is paper 2 so paper 2 there is a, a chapter called uh, law of crimes as well as torts okay so in the law of crimes and na first of all like no so you'll be dealing with what is mens rea actus reus na guilty mind all right so uh, you'll be studying something called as intention intention na so what you call it as you know um, so assume that like no you are inviting to my uh, so you are inviting me to your home all right so while you invite me like no so what happens like uh, so there was a uh, so you asked your made to clean the room properly clean the house properly but she made a mistake there there a uh, oil split uh, spilt and all so when i came enter like no kind of i fell down i injured my leg now can i file a case against you is it a criminal case why because you don't have the intention to make me hurt no the same thing so there are certain things like or else you are playing a loud music so that your neighbors got kind of affected so that is something like so these are comes under the torts actually so we have to classify civil and crime in in civil law we are going to learn about torts contracts and all so in the law of crimes so how far this guilty intention is very important and kinds of punishment so what are the types of punishment we are going to see death penalty then life imprisonment what is meaning of life imprisonment how many years is life imprisonment ah uh, it is a Uh, the remainder of the person's like convict's life, okay. The till the remainders of the convict's life. It is not like fourteen years, seven years like that either, okay. So either lah life imprisonment and how it is given, rigorous imprisonment, na na. All right, all these things we'll be discussing here and about. I said no emerging trends to abolish capital punishment. What is meaning of capital punishment? What is the highest punishment you can give? Death penalty, very good. So that is all that we got to see. And uh, preparation and criminal attempt. See, IPC is kind of very interesting people. IPC, you can correlate. Lot many movies will come to your mind. Lot many news will come to your mind. Preparation and criminal attack. So we'll be discussing so many instances. Like for instance, uh, uh, so I I plan to say murder you. All right. So what happens is that so I'm just keeping a food sorry poison in the food which is you are about to eat. So every time you come and eat in this table only. So I have kind of poisoned the food and I have kept it here so that I expect you to kind of. eat and die now what happens uh, a kind of a you know cat comes in eats and dies whether it is an attempt hmm whether it is an attempt to murder you or not or just preparation or else if at all i i say that like you no know, so i am kind of trying to steal your money i took your bag i put you know my hand in your bag but i find nothing Then, since I find nothing, like I have kind of left, is it an attempt to theft? Ah, uh, these things only we have to see. So everything like IPC full of 
illustrations, examples. I please see, sir. Among the things, it is the interesting thing. It is the interesting thing. Fine. And uh, general exceptions, na, 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 like uh, Drishya movie. Drishya movie, what will happen? Mm, Drishya movie, like, no, he'll be kind of trying to show as if nothing has happened. Um, Drishya movie came in Tamil also, right? Uh, that is what. Huh. Now, general exceptions means, like, no, if a, uh, I'll give you a few examples. If a person of unsound mind, if he kills someone, whether he can be punished? Unsound mind now, who is kind of not having a mental stability. All right. Or else, any person who is intoxicated, if at all he has done it, whether it will be punishable. In the manner, self defense. If someone is trying to kill you, now you are protecting, you want to protect yourself, so you are killing them. So, what will happen to you? So, can you kind of like, no, take self defense? It will be very interesting. Self defense or not. General exceptions. Joint and constructive liability. In the joint and constructive liability, na. Uh, so this and criminal conspiracy, there is a small difference. I'll tell you. So in the case of joint and constructive liability, means like, for instance, um, so you five people plan to kind of kill a person. All right, the quality is different. The quality is there is the requirement is five itself, but generally, you so two people or else at least like three people plan to kill. So it has an element of conspiracy also and joint liability also. Now assume that like no, so we we are there in the room, some three persons are there. All right. So okay, I'll give you a scenario. Now we want to kind of kill one person. So we three people go to that place. One of them waiting outside with a car. Another people is waiting near the window. Another friend is waiting near the window to say that if someone comes, give me a signal. The third one goes and stabs, kills the person. So who will be given the maximum punishment? The one who stabs? No, everyone. Every one of them will be given the equal punishment. That is called as joint and constructive because everyone is part of that, no? So conspiracy is also something like that. We'll discuss about conspiracy case, the case of Rajiv Gandhi, umbrella spoke model and all. We'll discuss that. So that was the case of like Perry Rivalan. So even though Perry Rivalan did not kill, no, he knows that Rajiv Gandhi will be killed and he got a battery for for the purpose of that operation of bomb. All right, so those cases we'll see that in the case of film conspiracy. Offenses against state include sedition. Have you come across this word sedition? Mm, sedition, all these things and all. These are very less important topic, very small topic. Uh, and abetment, abetment means kind of, you know, you're kind of supporting a someone to kind of do, or you're kind of like, you know, instigating someone. Mm? You're making a conspiring someone to kind of kill. That is what. This is the most important. We all will be discussing about kidnap, abduction, hurt, grievous hurt, miscarriage, wrongful confinement, locking uh, door, like wrongful confinement. We'll discuss about assault, uh, criminal force. We'll discuss about uh, rape, uh, unnatural offenses, all these things. The most important topic in paper to law of crimes. Very lengthy, very most. It is, it is very interesting also. All right. And offenses against property. What is theft, extortion, dacoity, adalami party. Okay, fine. So there is a lot of difference as such. You see here, like um, um I have kept this pen, no. I have kept this pen here. All right. So if someone takes this pen without my knowledge, it's theft. But if someone comes and takes a knife and says that no, you deliver the pen to me, okay, fine, you keep it. That is what. Extortion. Ademar robbery no aggravated form. We'll see that. So all these things and all will be there. Offenses against women. What is molestation, stalking, all it outrage in the modesty. Adalame will be dealing with that. And also uh, later to women um, cruelty, dowry death. All these things we will be discussing. Defamation. This is very simple topic, small topic. Hardly they used to ask questions. Just only once they've asked this question. All right. Defamation na. Tell putting that defamation. Criminal defamation, all these things and all. So they will be asking it. And uh, Prevention of Corruption Act, PCR, that is PCR Protection of Civil Rights Act, SCST Atrocities Act, plea bargaining. These are very small topics. All right, more factual. Okay. These are more conceptual, more based on illustrations. All these things you have to study the Indian Penal Code. All right. So law of torts again. Similarly, you have something negligence. Negligence and 
அதை நான் சொல்லி நெக்லிஜென்ட்டாக நீங்கள் வந்து சரியாக தொடக்கல யூ ஹவ் நாட் லைண்ட் ஆஃப் மேட் இட் ஸோ தட் இஸ் ரீசன் ஐ ஹவ் எகெயின் டிஃபர்மேஷன் இஸ் தேர் ஹியர் ஆல்சோ சம் டைம்ஸ் இட் வில் ரிப்பீட் நியூசன்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் மீ ஆஃப் நியூசன்ஸ் யூ ஆர் பிளேயிங் எ லவுட் மியூசிக் ஐ காட் டிஸ்டர்ப்ட் நியூசன்ஸ் லைக் வாட் லேப் அதே மாதிரி ஹேர் இஸ் அ கான்ஸ்பிரசி ஹேர் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கான்ஸ்பிரசி ஸோ யூ கேன் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் மேக் அ கம்பாரிசன் ஜாயிண்ட் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ட் லைபிலிட்டி ஜாயிண்ட் டாட் பீசஸ் ஜென்ரல் டிஃபென்சஸ் ஜென்ரல் எக்ஸப்ஷன் ஸோ யூ ஹேவ் அ கம்பாரிசன் இட் பி இட் வில் பி ஈஸி அண்ட் தேர் இஸ் சம்திங் கால் இஸ் vicarious liability vicarious liability you have to pay money for your driver's fault you know is it not that is a logic right if a driver make a mistake you have to pay money for that like a mistake that is called as vicarious liability that is what we will see that vicarious liability strict liability absolute liability the case of uh, bhopal disaster all these things are going to be seen that false imprisonment okay so you have locked the uh, room like you know uh, deliberately so that I, i should not go out so what is the compensation for that malicious prosecution you are deliberately filing a case against me what will happen in that case so all these things and all all right and then you have something called as law of contracts so law of contracts like no i can't explain like these things law of contracts it is also very much uh, relatable to you it has lot many things on that for instance what is quasi contracts i'll give an example um so in the, in the case of uh, quasi contracts okay because if i start giving example it take a lot of time but these are also very interesting these are also very interesting quasi contracts and other things so for instance standard form of contract very simple example i can give it to you every time you go to a mall or anywhere for a parking you no know, shop you will have a kind of a get a card in that card the back side or front what they'll have what is the term and condition we are not responsible for any loss of property ஏ அதுக்கு தான் காசு கொடுக்குறோம் வி கிவ் மணி டு தேட் ஓன்லி ரைட் தேல் சே தட் லைக் வி ஆர் நாட் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் ஃபார் எனி லாஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி எனி தெஃப்ட் மீன்ஸ் லைக் நோ தட் இஸ் ரீசன் வி பே மணி ரைட் அண்ட் தட் இஸ் தட் அலௌட் இஸ் தட் அலௌட் ஆல் ரைட் சோ வென் எவர் யூ கோ ஃபார் அ ட்ரெயின் ஆர் வென் எவர் யூ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் கோ ஃபார் எனி சச் திங் தேர் இஸ் திஸ் டர்ம்ஸ் அண்ட் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ரைட் சோ வாட் ஷுட் பி த ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஃபார்ம் ஓகே தட் இஸ் சம்திங் அகெய்ன் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ லைக் திங் ஏஜென்சி ஏஜென்ட் பேசிகலி இட்ஸ் அபவுட் ஏஜென்ட் யூ ஆர் டூயிங் வித் சமன் எல்ஸ் help all right indemnity guarantee insurance so what will happen all these things and all like uh, it's again conceptual only so we'll be discussing about the negotiable instruments now about check promissory notes idella ma pathi padipom partnership eppadi partnership form pannala these are very factual it's very simple factual sale of goods sale of goods if you want to sell a car hmm? or if you want to buy what are the things you have to keep in mind arbitration conciliation i said it's a term like which is will be appearing in uh, paper 2 also paper 1 also this is what and contemporary legal developments mostly based on current affairs mostly based on current affairs pal again it is there in paper 1 ipr that is about what is uh, patent what is copyright trademark mostly current affairs based only it related laws cyber laws concept purpose and prospects competition law competition law Have you come across this word predatory pricing? Anyone who has used Ola or Uber, they know about price. You should know about predatory pricing. You keep the price first of all very low. You eliminate the competition. Thereafter, you can keep it high. When Ola came here, no? Per kilometer AC. 10 kilometers in the car and all. Is it not? what you thought is that oh these people are very good you know what happened gradually the small place in the market they gradually went out unable to kind of either they have to attach to ola or uber or they have to go out ultimately what happened once every competition is eliminated once you become a monopoly nanda ellame once i become monopoly now i increase 25 rupees per kilometer 30 rupees per kilometer and sometimes you know that like now i have taken screenshots of ola and uber like now sometimes you see from inga nam academy land coimbedu poradhukku odu or time la 800 rupees la a rain time but it's still like that is what no so that now in na avanga vachadana satta now that whatever they say is the rule no so that is what so we'll be discussing about these competition laws and all so so many cases lens geo and other things airtel and all lot many cases it will be adhe mari adr again part of this arbitration conciliation part part one also will be there again related to environment that was in paper one it was uh, it's more related to international here it is domestic rta what is rta uh, very factual media trial what is the meaning of this trial by media 
media decides no he is the kind of culprit they will become a court the case of shishan singh rajput hmm? they declared riya chakrabarty to be the uh, the person who killed shishant or kind of instigated the suicide and consumer protection act consumer protection like no so what is what is a uh, uh, who is a consumer all right so many things like consumer means like you no know, if you are buying car for your own purpose and then giving it to your friend whether that will fall under consumer goods or if you are using it for commercial purpose will that fall under consumer all these things and all consumer protection is also very recently they made an amendment and so we have to study this so this is the outline of all these things again i can't explain all these things and all okay so this is the outline of all these things and now like i, I would like to say few elements like first of all like uh, so there is one question which is being asked again sir can you repeat the disadvantage of law once again i say like disadvantage is that you cannot score more than 300 i don't know <laughs> even i have that even i can't answer like maybe you can you have to file an, even you can't file an rta saying that why you are not giving so many good marks for that but despite that as i said like even though you don't score you even though you don't score but if you look into the data but the data says that data says that people taking law as an option they have a better success rate all right so this is it's a kind of a uh, interesting comparison you see every time as i said no 2000 this is 2012 data 17 percentage see apart from apart from the literature or for those things taken more than 100 and all like medical science like uh, uh, this is here and here it is also economics and medical science and here it is also medical science and law all right so every time you can see that like only in 2015 it was very less like no not 15 2000 uh it was in 2016 i guess it was very bad uh, 2016 only uh, i still remember that that year i also i don't in 2016 was the least i said no so now when then it will be screwed every dog has its day so even every option will have its bad day so this can be a possibility also 2016 that was the only time less than 10 percentage of people 313 people appeared for mains just 12 people clear all right i was one among the 3 313 and uh, i also did not clear as i said that that time all right and uh, this is what again rest about them it is always in the top fine this is what this is the disadvantage as i said this disadvantage can be leveraged okay still if you ask the question again and again sir how come having scoring less how come they are able to success so they were able to leverage what they studied in law optional in other gs subjects that way you can compensate you can get a good mark in interview also all right and one more thing like no so when does the syllabus starts like the class actually the class is planned to be a weekend but right now like there is a change of schedule also timing also everything is changing so it is going to start by the month of september and it's going to be just only one batch from september it will be till february so september october november december september october november december january february so six months so why it is taking six months time and that too it is not a week end it will be a week day we'll be having an alternate days monday wednesday friday or sometimes you can have it on thursday also so the only the reason why we are going to have like this one is i've chosen is i don't do put much pressure on the people by the time we start by september so we'll be kind of completing for the other batches completing polity we'll be having some basics so it will be easy for us and it will be kind of revision for you by the time like september and all some of international organizations everything will be done so now you'll be having the basics i need not explain the basics and you will can again it will be kind of revision for you for gs also so it will be good by the time so september to february so so normally so if we have three classes so every second week or two times in a month you'll be having test okay two times like second weekend okay second weekend you'll be having a test for the portions completed the six classes we complete now you'll be having a test you can kind of write it all right people so from from february to again like you have to focus more on prelims we have to focus more on prelims and by the time what will happen is that it's from february to this one so we'll and after the prelims as usual like you no know, we'll start the test series and all 
For law optional, normally, so once you join it here, like you know, for the test series, it will be free because we have a very limited people. It's not like like uh, 100, 200 or anything. It will be every year around 25 to 30 people only at the maximum. All right. So 20 to 30 people only normally we'll be having it with very limited number of things. So we'll be kind of able to handle like this. So I'll be myself evaluating the papers and all. So I'll be giving it a feedback. So you can easily contact me and other things and all. So this will be the kind of thing. So the course starts by September, ends by February. So it will be a six month course. It will be a weekday, not weekends. Weekends will be for test. All right, people, fine. Now we can ask the questions, whatever you want. Any doubts you have? No, no need of writing citations. Citations are not required. What is the meaning of citations now? Like, no, you have to write the year. Okay, which reporter you have taken. That's not required. Not at all. Not at all. No need to write citations. You have to say what is the question of law involved and what is the answer. That's it. Nothing else apart from that. Okay. Nothing else apart from that. Hmm. Timings will be for 5.30 to 8. It's offline as well as online. So meaning like no, you can choose either offline or online. People if you are far away, you can choose online. If you are here, it will be offline. You can come here, attend here. There is no problem in that. And you can continue also. You can continue after that also. Like, uh, if you want to go to your home, like, uh, you can continue in the online also. The same thing. But don't choose based on the interest alone. You go through the previous question papers. So like, we'll be having a. If you want, like, no, I can share, like, no, I'll give my number also. Okay, this is my email ID. This is my number. All right. So you can put your queries also. I'll I'll send it. Like if you want any some questions, all right. If you want uh, any previous question papers, anything you want to go through, I I shall kind of forward it to you. You decide. No, I can't say it's, it's optional. It's you have to opt it. I can't say what is good for you. All right. If you have interest and if you like the subject, yes, you can. But I have said the negative side and all. But again, like it is possible, and. Um, there are so many people, as I said, Neha Jain, she is a kind of doctor. She has nothing to do with the law. But she has studied even without referring to standard textbooks. Even without referring to standard textbooks, okay? So as of now, like, I'll be giving only, like, you no, know, we'll be, uh, uh, as from the academic side, like, we'll be giving some materials for reference, some material for studying. Apart from that, like, I'll give you a prescribed set of textbooks. That will cost you around some some 2,000 rupees. If you are not a, if you are not a lawyer, if you are, lawyers do already have it. So that all the textbooks for studying, the dookies, what I say, you know, it will cost you around, everything put in total will cost you around some 2000. Rest apart, you not spend. And apart from that, I will also be giving handouts, PDFs to you. All right. So you can do that also. So you can contact me, you can ask me. Uh, maybe if at all lawyers and non-lawyers, you, you think that, sir, like, no, so I need to kind of check it, like whether I'm writing no properly, as a writing properly, like law properly. You can kind of send it to me. You can mail your queries also. You can call me. You can kind of, uh, you know, text me also. So call normally, like, no, I'll be in the class. So I'm be attending. All right. So you can kind of uh, text me, whatever it is. I am ready to happy to help you. All right, people. Hmm. Any doubts? Don't decide an option by scoring or not scoring. I will tell you this one because, like, no. So if you want to score, like, definitely, even like Max is also scoring, like, no, engineering is also scoring. People score 400 also, people score 40 also. It's up to your effort you put. See, parameter to choose the option now, that is what. So, number one, availability of materials. First thing is about interest. You should have an interest. You kind of, first of all, narrow it down to few optionals. Okay, sir, I'm kind of confused between, say, political science, pub bad, and law sociology and law or say history and law whatever it is you kind of you know narrow the kind of choices and then you kind of like you no know, uh, go through that uh, the syllabus go through the previous question papers have a word with the faculty all right and then you attend the 
you know what is called as the uh, this demo classes also this is demo optional demo means like you no know, it's, it's about orientation so sometimes i guess we'll be giving uh, like one year so there's uh, classes also one or the two classes uh, we'll be giving that you can attend that classes also if you wish to then you can decide so people this is the biggest dilemma but finally it 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 is with you there is no such nice specific no fixed rigid parameters and all if you are a lawyer like no kanna mudi cloud it will tappe kadiyadu nothing wrong in that hmm? non lawyers also you feel it interesting it will be interesting as it law will Yes, it's more factual and no need of more analysis under it. There are more analysis required, like you know, factual in the sense, like you no. Know, so, what exactly the question of law involved? If or examples on that, so what was held in a specific case? You have to say that, like you no. Know, for instance, if occasion on the Bharati, you will be studying that in GSE. If occasion on the Bharati, what was held? The doctrine of basic structure. That is the key point. All right. Uh, in, in some cases, for instance, like. Um, um, in puta sami's case okay whether right to privacy is a fundamental right or not okay if so under which article so on that basis parameters we'll kind of discussing it like it will be very crisp on it no need to kind of go through entire thing and all the case clause where you have to by heart na in, in among these subjects uh, there is one thing there is one uh, the torts and clear the torts la da verum case clause Only in torts you have to study case laws. Constitution, yes, you have to study certain case laws. International law, yes, certain case laws. But case laws are not much important. If I mean, ah, more here concepts are more important. You have to then in the right articles in constitution. International law, more examples. Concepts, more examples. Law of crimes sections. All that core section. Okay. I'll make you remember. I said no. Newspapers by reading newspapers, you'll buy heart it. Don't worry at all. Three seventy eight na theft. Three na two na murder. Everything like no. So the definition. This is murder uh, punishment. Three hundred murder. Three na two. All these things will be. It will be in the newspapers. Na solar line. It will be in the newspapers. Definitely. Here, idal the sections are required. Only case laws. Cases matto na. For each of these topic, you have to remember at least minimum three of key three cases. Idal matto na case laws very important. Contracts na not much. Case laws and all concepts only. Here and all full of concepts and facts only. Case laws na you are not required here and all. Ingela man here not full case laws. Inga varikida sections maximum. Idu varikida to here. Here full of case laws. Here and all concepts only. Very few sections only. Maybe if you want to. Here and all full of again concepts. Few international conventions and articles. Here full of article. In an article we have to study. In GS also we have to say. And here also cases matters. Constitution cases matters. This is what. Okay, maximum is over fifteen twenty cases. Can't be over thirty forty. Mailer go, but we'll kind of practice. How do you remember the phone numbers of your friends? Frequently dialing the same thing. Frequently, kind of you can revise and then you can no issues. Hmm. 